All right, hey everybody, this is Rosh, and I am a Ciari Guitars brand ambassador. So, a little about myself. Um, I have been a working touring musician for the last 20 years, um, and I work with some people such as Steve Vai, Def Leppard, Melissa Etheridge, or Perfect Circle, Bush, and more. So, if you've been subscribed to this YouTube channel, you know most of the stuff that I'm always doing is talking about the fractal audio stuff and doing some uh, tutorials and how to program all the Fractal products for um, new and experienced users. So one of the biggest challenges for me as a working musician is always dealing with the guitar and dealing with the guitar when it comes to traveling. So if you watch some of the videos on um, this YouTube channel, you know, I've been traveling to Europe a lot. Um, I do a lot of fly dates. I do, um, you know, I'm always traveling. Tr and the, the hardest component is how do I bring a guitar onto an airplane onto the bus, into the van? How do I get it in and out of my car? How do I bring the minimal amount of gear to the gig, but still have all the functionality so I can do my job? So um, again, as a CRE brand ambassador, um, one of the things is that I've been a real, real strong advocate for the CRE guitars. So right here in my hand is the CRE Guitars Ascender. And uh, I've been meaning to do one of these videos, uh, you know, going, you know, in depth on this guitar. I've been using it for probably the last, I don't know, four or five months ever since they sent one out to me. And it has been really awesome. So uh, I wanted to do my due diligence and do like a full in-depth review of this, especially after being able to, you know, take this all over the place. So right now I'm actually in a hotel room. I'm uh, in Raleigh. North Carolina. Um, obviously, I'm based out of LA, but um, we're doing a corporate event here. And um, so I got to fly out with just this guitar in the, uh, you know, the backpack that it uh, came with. And later on in this video, I'll show kind of like everything that I was able to bring in the backpack. All I did was bring the Ciari backpack, this guitar, um, my FM3 in a Pelican case, and then my clothes, toiletries, and then all the other accessories. The amount of things that I was able to bring with me so I could do my job is incredible. I mean, I was able to pack a suit <laughs> with shoes, everything in there, and I didn't need to check a single bag. And again, if you're a musician, a lot of you all know, you know, you're not always flying first class. Sometimes you end up, you know, you're flying Southwest, you're flying, you know, other airlines. When um, I spend time overseas, I'm flying, you know, a lot of the European airlines, which are even smaller. Some of them force you to check a bag but you can bring a carry-on and again this guitar has you know been a lifesaver so let's talk about some of the features of this guitar and why i think it's really awesome for all you working musicians out there all you touring musicians um everybody who's looking for a solution when it comes to traveling with a guitar so the first thing is this is the ciari uh ascender standard um i got it in black black's my favorite color black's black t-shirt and you know, to me, when I play this guitar, it kind of reminds me of a mix between like a Les Paul Jr. and a Jazz Master. So it fits really great in the hand. Um, I'm mainly a Les Paul style guitar player. So I tend to play Les Paul style guitar. So I like, you know, thicker necks. I play like a, you know, 50 style neck on my Les Paul. Um, so, and obviously it's got the three by three um, tuners right there. So the first thing that uh, obviously is the biggest thing about this is that the neck folds in half so if you're not familiar with these guitars by pulling this lever right here it is going to basically pull this rod out of the neck and then the springs right here keep tension on the strings so the strings don't just like flop around or anything and then you can't you, can, you might be able to see this but there is a string yoke right here right behind the nut of the guitar that also keeps the strings um you know basically fleshed onto the nut of the guitar so the strings aren't just going to totally flop off and then these roller, the roller nuts right here, or the uh, the roller bridge, they have these little, um, you know, basically wheels right here on the bridge, and that allows the strings to travel back and forth through here. So when you pull this lever right here, what's going to happen is that it's going to release the string tension, and then you're uh, you can fold the neck down on the guitar. So this is going to fit inside the accompanying uh, CRE guitars gig bag and then the gig bag can also fit in the backpack so again if you use uh, my brand ambassador code that I'm going to put down here in the description uh, you can get a free backpack if you order one of these guitars um, free of charge so um, 
Now, now that it's folded like this, you basically put it in the gig bag and you can put it in the backpack. And the cool thing is that everything is designed so that it basically can fit underneath an airline seat. So um, right here at this point, what I'm going to do is I'll splice in some footage of me getting onto an airplane. I, I had a connecting flight in Nashville where these guitars actually are made and they come from. So I was able to just get it right into the seat right there. And then, um, you know, my carry on just went into the overhead bin uh, and that's it. That's all I needed to carry. I didn't need to check the bag. I didn't need to wait at, uh, you know, baggage claim to grab, get my guitar. So now a lot of people are going to ask, okay, so when I fold the guitar, like, does it still stay in tune? Close enough. Obviously, you may need to hit it with a tuner. But again, the idea is that it's going to travel really well. Now, is it going to be perfect? I mean, I think that's kind of a tall order. And the other thing is, of course, if this is getting stuffed underneath an, air, uh, underneath an airline seat, you know, the tuning pegs are going to be, you know, or the tuning pegs are going to be, you know, manipulated or whatever. Uh, depending on how much stuff you have in either in the gig bag or the backpack. Now, again, you know, I, I stuffing uh, my Les Paul in a, you know, overhead bin is going to also, you know, change the tuners or whatever. So I'm not too concerned about that. Again, you, you're going to fold it, put it in the, in the backpack, and then stuff it underneath the airline seat, and you're never going to have to worry about that. Now, the, the great thing about the backpack, and, um, you know, I'll, I'll put this a little bit later in the video that, um, I'll show you exactly what I brought in the backpack. I, I could fit a ton of stuff in there. Um, right now, I can fit the camera that I'm recording this with. I can fit the, you know, um, a MacBook Pro. I've been able to fit a 16-inch MacBook Pro in there. Um, I generally, you know, travel and, you know, fly around with a 14-inch uh, MacBook Pro M3 Max. Uh, I can fit my toiletries, an iPad, cables. I got a little interface in there. I mean, there's a ton of stuff that I can fit in there. And again, the guitar sounds really great. It's not a gimmick. It's not one of these like, oh, it's going to be kind of the same thing. I mean, I've been gigging with this as my main guitar for the last three or four months um, just because it's so much easier to bring to any gig. So I just bring the backpack. I'm wearing the backpack just like you would be wearing the gig bag and keeps both my hands free. And then I can bring my pedal board in one hand or, you know, my pedal board case in one hand. I usually use fractal gear in a mono gig bag and then my left hand is free to you know carry a mic stand or whatever and then i walk into the venue like that most of the time i'm running on in-ears anyway um i'm not really bringing an amp to a lot of different gigs that i'm doing um the gig that we're doing tonight i'm going to be running um you know an ernie ball cable with the headphone jack and i'm going to be you know basically pumping guitar right into my in-ears um but it makes it it's a really great travel solution now of course i could always bring an amp so then the load-in would be basically the backpack with the guitar and all the accessories I need. Right hand has the pedal board, the left hand has the amp or the full range speaker if you're using some Fractal products or any modelers or anything like that. Um, and it's super useful. So what I'm gonna do in the rest of this video um, is I'm gonna show some of the other things that I've been using, um, you know, that I can fit the CRE, uh, uh, you know, uh, what I can fit in the backpack, everything like that. But, and I'll also sh show some, you know, samples of what the pickups sound like, what the guitar sounds like with some of my sounds that I use. And again, as a working musician, this is going to be, you know, pretty meat and potatoes generic kind of stuff that you would need for, you know, to cover a type of gig. You're going to need a great clean sound, um, something that you can play funk guitar with, something you can play jazz with, something that you can play like, you know, clean, you know, acoustic-esque kind of sounds, you know, just like clean guitar arpeggios then usually I'm going to need like a kind of crunch sound, you know, something that's going to cover everything from like a Tom Petty to a bluesy kind of sound, maybe getting a little bit almost into the ACDC territory or maybe just like, you know, Rolling Stones territory. And then, of course, I'm going to need like, you know, rock rhythm stuff, high gain stuff, and then, of course, lead stuff. Now, in terms of the guitar itself, how does it play? Um, so a lot of questions that I've had uh, from other guitar players about this guitar is like, well, you know, does the hinge get in the way? So if you look in the back here, right where that hinge is, it's right at the 12th fret. Now, you don't really run into it. So if you can see where my hand is, um, you, you may think that this, this stuff right here is going to get in the way. Doesn't, it's not a problem for me. I mean, it takes like 30 seconds to get, to go, oh, okay, cool. The feel of the neck is what it is. Um, so you can just play, let me see if I can put that in frame. Yeah, I mean, I'm playing on the 12th fret. It doesn't get in the way at all. My thumb is not, you know, 
hitting this in any weird way that feels, you know, super weird. Um, the guitar stays in tune uh, exceptionally well. I mean, you got um, these locking tuners right here on the back. Um, so it makes string changes a breeze. The other thing is that the the spring, uh, these springs right here, they, you know, basically have counter tension to the body of the guitar. So, you know, bends are super easy. They don't feel, this doesn't feel like a different type of guitar. To me, because of the way the scale is, um, it, again, reminds me of a Les Paul Jr. It has that kind of feel to it. Um, but if you play Jazz Masters, Mustangs, and everything like that, I think you can adapt to this type of guitar as well because just the body size and the body weight of it. Now, the guitar is slightly smaller than a standard guitar, but I think that's really great. So again, if you're doing long gigs or something, you know, it can be really great for your back. Uh, my Les Paul is super heavy. Most of the time when I'm playing Les Pauls, you know, at, at the end of the night, I, you know, I can definitely feel it in my shoulder. This feels perfectly balanced. You can see I can just kind of like, you know, bring it up and down. Um, the uh, pickups sound really good. The electronics are great. You know, it comes, you know, it's pretty standard stuff that you would see on a, you know, two humbucker style guitar. Got your neck pickup, middle, uh, you know, the both picks up, pickups on, and then you got the bridge pickup, volume and tone. Um, I haven't felt the need to do any type of push pull, any split coil stuff or anything like that. It kind of just generally covers everything that I need to do. And again, you never have any issues with it. Um, I also use, you know, one of these Groove Gear, uh, you know, fret wraps, you know, to do some of the more, to kind of like do, you know, two hand tapping kind of stuff and everything like that. But again, feels really great in your hands and it sounds really good. So what I'm going to do at this point in the video is, um, you know, we've talked a lot about the guitar already in terms of like, you know, what features it has. Um, and everything like that. Uh, I'm going to show you know the other accessories that are part of the CRE guitars kind of family, where the backpack is really awesome. I'm going to show you kind of the rig that you know I bring. Again, I use like an FM3 when I'm doing these travel dates. Um, but I think anybody who is looking for a really really great solution when they if they travel a lot, um, this guitar I think is at the top of the list. And I wouldn't you know I always try to associate myself with companies that are really great. In addition to making great products, the CRE Guitars family is really awesome. They got a really cool like social media thing happening. Everybody that I've worked with has been so awesome. I mean, I think the second gig I played with them, I actually broke the string yoke just by being a dummy. Um, <laughs> and uh, I emailed them and, I, and they immediately just sent out another one. I said, hey, I actually broke the string yoke. And they were like, cool. And then it hit my mailbox and like, you know, maybe 72 hours or something like that. So, I mean, these guys really, really care about their products. They're really proud of them. Obviously, you got some real heavyweights playing these guitars like Steve Stevens from Billy Idol's band. Um, and again, it's one of these types of solutions that I think we've all been dying for. Um, you know, in the past, I've had to beg and beg and beg the airline to let me load my guitar into the wardrobe locker or, you know, get on the plane first so I can put my guitar in one of the overhead bins. But um, with these days, you know, most flights are always going to be full. Um, you may end up having to gate check your, you know, Pelican or your luggage or whatever. And, you know, you don't want to gate check your Les Paul or your, you know, prized guitar or whatever, because it's going to end up in a couple pieces. And that's no slide on the airlines. I get it. It's just, this is, you know, musicians are doing this for work, but you know, they got a lot of, a million things to deal with. So the whole point is that you're, you want to have ways to mitigate against this. So, um, without further ado, uh, we'll just get into the rest of this video. I'll show some samples of playing. I'll walk through what I use, uh, what I put in the guitar or, uh, in the backpack. And then, uh, we'll just go from there. <laughs>
All right, everybody. So this is the uh, CRE Guitars backpack. I have it kind of horizontal right now. Um, and obviously, <laughs> ignore some of this. I've already been traveling and using this. I mean, the backpack comes, you know, obviously super clean, but this is just, you know, wear and tear on the road. So um, the cool thing about this backpack is that it has a lot of different compartments. So the first thing that we're I'm going to do is just let, let's just open this up. This zip up goes all the way around um, the backpack, but let's zip this up. And inside is the actually Ciari Guitars gig bag. And inside the gig bag is the actual guitar. So let me just open this, this here. And you can see in here, inside the gig bag, we have the actual guitar right there. Oops, just trying to keep out of the way of the tripod. So there it is folded up. Fits my uh, group gear strap in there and closes in. And of course, the actual gig bag can, uh, you know, come out of the actual backpack. So this is not actually attached to the backpack. I'll leave that in there for the time being. And I'm going to zip this back up. It has a little pocket on the front if you need anything. And let's do that. Okay. Now, The great thing is you can fit a lot of accessories in here. So let me just try to see if I can move this into the frame. This is actually my MacBook Pro right there. So it's got this little mesh thing that you can actually squeeze your laptop in there. So, and um, the cool thing is that it can fit up to a 16 inch uh, laptop right there. And so that's kind of on the inside. And so let's sit that up for a second. Now. If I flip this up, let's see where I can grab it. Yeah, if I flip this up, you may be able to see this the zipper right here. And this actually just expands the backpack. So the backpack can actually expand a little bit more to be a little bit thicker uh, or a little bit you know wider. It's just like, you know, those compression kind of zippers. And the cool thing is like you can fit even more stuff in there. I didn't, I found that I didn't need to do that. So I usually generally keep it zipped up and um, the cool thing is that like it's all compact in here. So the front pocket, um, I mean, I fit a ton of stuff in there. So I got my cables, your charger cables that you need. Got extra strings, of course. You got some Clorox wipes in case you need to wipe down the plane seat or anything like that. So got that in the front. Um, keep a little multi-tool in here. Um, so then you got this pocket right here. And you can see this compartment is really deep. So I got my iPad and got a spare cable back there. I got some hand sanitizer, uh, some power bars, some pens. And the cool thing is like, I can even fit like a little recording interface. So um, I'll splice in some footage here, but um, I, I bring this guitar around a lot and you know, uh, I was getting my oil change done and so, you know, what better way to make use of idle time? So I actually, you know, was recording some tracks for a client. Um, just plug in your guitar into this and then use like, you know, any type of, uh, you know, guitar plugin in Logic, you know, uh, the Neural DSP stuff is great. Um, you can use any of the uh, plugin alliance stuff and then I've recorded stuff for clients there. And you can kind of do this anywhere. I, I work at coffee shops, all kinds of stuff. And then now you got this inside pocket here. I keep some uh, spare batteries. I don't know, what else do I have in here? Oh yeah, I have my picks, some extra in-ear cables. Um, what else do I got down there? Keep some spare earplugs, capo, um, that kind of stuff. And of course it's got this little pen, you know, pouches, um, you know, Sharpie, all that kind of stuff. iPad goes in here and then it zips up. And then we got this top compartment here um, and in the top compartment, let me just move this down a little bit. I mean, this top compartment holds a lot of stuff. I got my Canon camera. I mean, I fit even like a bigger lens on this. This is just like a pancake lens that I bring when I travel. Um, got my in-ear case, you know, for my in-ears. Got some, this is a, like a lav mic. Uh, I got my tuner, you know, old tuner. Got a group gear thing. Um, Oh, some masks, of course, when you're traveling, don't want to get sick, uh, capo, all kinds of stuff in there. And, you know, you not pictured, 
because I'm obviously in the hotel room, but I was able to actually fit all my toiletries in this little compartment right here. So toothbrush, you know, toothpaste, all the usual stuff that you're going to bring when you travel, just stick it right there, folds up, and it's still able to get underneath the plane. I mean, or underneath the plane seat. So the crazy thing is it's super compact. You got, uh, you know, your straps, it's got some padding down there. You got, um, you know, handles that you can hold this. Um, you got some compression straps if you need them. You got some shoulder straps, you know, if you're going running through the airport, any kind of stuff. And again, I mean, this with the guitar in there weighs maybe 20 pounds or so. I don't know. Um, you can easily lift this one handed. It's not a problem. It goes on your back up super easy. I mean, I'm able to fit a ton of stuff. And then again, the rest of my rig goes in the Pelican. Um, I was able to fit, like I said, a suit and shoes. And I, I use one of these travel uh, compression cube things that uh, hold all my clothes. But again, this is the ultimate solution for all you guitar players out there who are doing a ton of traveling. You can fit a lot of stuff in this backpack. And again, the cool thing is like you, when you take the, uh, let's, where is the uh, zipper? Oh, there it is. When you take the gig bag out, you know, the backpack still functions. Oops. Where is it? Uh, the, oh, there it is. The backpack still retains its functionality as a backpack. So you can leave your, you know, guitar in the hotel room or whatever. And then you could take the backpack out anywhere you want. So if I take the, the gig bag out, so the gig bag is totally modular. It's separate. Also has this, also has, you know, these things for little straps right here, a little strap holder. Or you could take this, you could just leave this in the hotel room. And then now you got just like a functional day pack. And then again, you got this compartment in the inside that you can put whatever you need in there. Or if you're just going about the city and you want to, you know, grab a souvenir and you want to throw some, or throw some clothes in there, you're going to the beach, whatever. The backpack itself can be super useful without needing the guitar. You can just leave that in the hotel room. So again, uh, this is, I mean, I haven't found a better solution for, you know, what a lot of traveling and touring guitar players have to do with. So uh, outside of this, so um, Sierra Guitars has really, really nailed it. And um, again, uh, you know, I think it's going to be a great solution. It's not a gimmick. It doesn't play like a toy guitar. It is a real guitar. It plays exactly like any of your, you know, high-end guitars. Um, it's built right here. Uh, well, not here in Raleigh, but in, it's built in Nashville. Um, and everybody that I've worked with uh, at the company has been super nice, super gracious. They get back to you immediately. Can't say enough kind words about this company. So if you're looking for an all-in-one solution for traveling, and playing guitar without having to beg the airline to, put, you know, treat your guitar right. I can't recommend the CRE guitars highly enough. Again, I'm playing the Ascender Standard. There's, it comes in a bunch of different colors. Um, you know, you can obviously swap out the pickups if you need to. I mean, you know, it it, it fits normal size pickups. These are like Seymour Duncan's that they got in there. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think that this is going to make a lot of touring and traveling musicians very, very happy. So. Uh, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you are planning on buying one, use my discount code, grab this backpack, in addition to the guitar for free. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. I'm